Welcome to Embody a Magical Life podcast, where you learn how to raise your vibe, explore your magic, and embody your authentic power. I'm Lynn Hicks. I'm Erica Hicks. And we're the mother-daughter duo, inspiring transformation through holistic lifestyle and conscious living. We bring water to the conversation because no one else is. We know hydrogen-rich water is the key to longevity and vitality. Life's about flowing, so this is the easiest way to upgrade your health and mindset. High Vibe Water. Join our revolution with the links down below and inspire others to embody a magical life. We'd love to get to know you. Cheers. Hydrate Hydrate your life with us. Welcome to Embody a Magical Life podcast. And before we start each episode, we are going to invite you to get into your body and to feel where you're at right now before we start the episode. So let's together all take a deep breath in. (sighs) Just feel your feet on the ground and your butt on the chair. We're on this beautiful rock here in Colorado. So beautiful, feeling our feet in the earth. Hmm. And just allow your breath to slow and your mind to slow and just be here for our episode. Embody a magical life. And feel yourself all the way down to the bottom of your spine. Hmm. Hold your energy in. So it goes all the way down. Yes. Coming from the center, your solar plexus, and below your belly. (sighs) Feels good to just take a moment to feel in our bodies before we talk about magic. (laughs) Hello. Hello. Welcome to Embody a Magical Life. (laughs) Yes, in the magical <laughs> mountains of Colorado near Carbondale. Yes, and we have been on journey since this morning and we wanted to share some stories about fear with you <laughs> because we had quite a few ones of those and we are pretty much, what, an hour and a half down a dirt road. We are, yes, <laughs> we are. We're about, I think, what, 22 miles from the main road on some BML land here in Colorado. And if you can't tell, it is beautiful. There is no service. Just so much magic and mystery here that we're excited to ground in and really bring forth our new chapter as Embody a Magical Life. Yes. And we had quite a, we went to, um, on our journey, we stopped at a Springs place in Glenwood. Glenwood? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's Glenwood. And wanted to take a gondola, ended up going (laughs) to the top of this gondola. And then there was this whole little mining village up there, which is a lot of the things they do out here that we're not as familiar with. And there was this roller coaster thing that we will have pictures and I'm sure you'll see on our other stuff. And we decided to go for it and it was like straight up, twist around, scary, only about what? Like four? Well, I can't even remember the last time I was on a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. Maybe like high school, like it so long It was scary ago. fun. It was like, oh, it was scary but fun. let's go. And we- I literally was laughing the whole time. I don't know. I guess I laugh when I'm scared. (laughs) She did. And I was like, oh, she's having fun. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was crazy. But, yeah, you were going up, and all you could see was the sky. It literally reminded me when I flew into Hawaii, all you could see was the ocean. There was no land, and you were starting to land and get closer to the ocean, and you couldn't see the land. So, yeah, we... Adventure today yeah. and just a little on our way to here, not knowing where we were. Yeah, and went through a little adrenal fear, and we're like proud of ourselves, only to come back to our car. Yes, <laughs> yes, and run into some gurgling issues. <laughs> yes, Margie, my car was the, yeah the suburban no um what is it Subaru a Subaru at back. She decided she was not real happy traveling. No, she wasn't. So here we are on a Saturday in a tourist town. Yes. With a car, we find out that you do not drive any further with this engine code. Mm -hmm. And so, thank God for the phone, we found a Midas. 
Yes. Open on Saturday. Yep. So we chose some fear <laughs> and then some fear found us, but we thought that was kind of, you know, the point, you know, why we just were called to ride the roller coaster because it helped us move through fear and not create the stories because we were in the Midas Touch thinking <laughs> we were going to cancel a camping trip. Yep. We we're going to have to stay in hotels or drive back home to Longmont and be stuck a couple days there until they could fix it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and as those stories were coming in, I remember being like, no, deal with what is like this guy's looking at it. He said, well, hey, we'll see what we can do. We have no technicians. Yep. I was like, just kept on hitting the stop the story of like well do you have a hotel and no 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 well maybe we'll do this and like plan b plan b yeah. plan b like what is it and you're just like well i think it's gonna be okay though yeah so i just kind of was like wait till you hear what's going on before yeah. you come up with any ideas yeah so we sat there battling our inward stories that um, we're creating but we had no gone reason. through that adrenal fear and we had talked about it and reason. said the fear was so much scarier than the actual ride. Mm -hmm. So here we are, and wouldn't you know what happens to us next? We, we, my car's fine. They just <laughs> had to push some spark plugs on. It was zero dollars. I tipped them 20 because I was like, what? And they took, gave us some tips if it keeps happening on our trip, and we're all good to go. And yeah, we've just had such an adventure since then, and showing the universe showing us safety and meeting people and. Just we, like we're in the middle of nowhere, but there's people everywhere. Oh, so and get this. So we're nice. heading in now and we're going up and down. We're in Gunnison National Park yep. and we come along a jackknife trailer oh truck. Oh my gosh. Cattle truck. Ca cattle truck and another truck trying to pull him free. and another couple alongside the road. And we're like, oh, we're not in the middle of anywhere. It was just fair. So much action happening. <laughs> Met some cowboys, ended up the people that were in the truck heading, told us a little bit about the area. And they had gone to Long Beach Island just last <laughs> week, like we normally do for 4th of July. I know, did. it was such an awesome And lived near us back home. So yeah. we got the scoop on this wonderland and we, we met people. It's nice to feel for me safe because I've never been down such a long dirt road. Into <laughs> it was very the... long. <laughs> it was very long. It was definitely a really great practice also in just being present. It's like on this road for 50 miles. My man was like, great. But then after I like, it was a meditation and you set into it and it was, you know, you're just on in the adventure. So relax. Yeah. And really it, when you start to notice those feelings or those ideas or the fears, you know, part of embodying magical life is just to notice. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in noticing going, all right, I'm scared because I'm driving through and I swear <sighs> that the magic of the universe brought me farmer friends. I was like, Hey, I felt good knowing some dudes were on. <laughs> I know. Uh, pulling a truck up a ridge we that I, like locals. nothing I've never seen. Yeah. The was... husband, wife, and their two kids were from around us. And so for me, I'm like, you're not in the middle of nowhere. You're safe. And as we in nature. went through that and kind of looked at what was going on throughout our day between fear and safety, we landed in the most beautiful place where a lot of people not like a lot of people like east coast <laughs> no but there's just people fishing by the lake and that's where we wanted to be by the lake and we found this badass camping spot yeah and and when we conquered our fear and then start the stories and start panicking and have anxiety for my car everything just has been smooth since then and it was just a great yeah story of that's embody a magical life don't create the story live the magical life trust the universe trust everything's going to work out for you because it always does yeah and just breathing through it and acknowledging how you feel but like stopping it yeah because we could have drawn a whole nightmare and been stuck in that place and here we are in the middle of nowhere as far as i'm concerned but incredible beauty oh my gosh it's so beautiful it's so beautiful yeah Might so we wanted to... to just share that because it was a big fear story we went for this like fun fear and then we got a real personal a real fear. fear when you're road tripping car problems car problems don't work out and then that was just something was simple easy someone was open 
someone sent us on our way and then we even met friends on the dirt road to make I know. me feel like bears and lions <laughs> aren't gonna come get me tonight bears and lions oh my <laughs> oh my gosh yeah we bought an air horn just in case there's a bear and owner thing so so there it is there our it is first. magical life here with the mother-daughter duo inspiring you to stay in the magic and be inspired every